This is Dr. Ariel Policano. I'm a naturopathic doctor, and I teach and train people how to get their, how to use their genius biofeedback system and help them to get their system, help to get them set up, and help you to learn how to use it in the very best and most practical way. Our website is geniusbiofeedback.com, and on the website you can go to the events page. Go to the events page and you can find out what's going on for this week, what classes we have coming up. We have a lot of new classes that are going to be loaded onto the website soon. We have a summit, wow, a really exciting summit on energy medicine and frequency coming up at the end of April. We're gonna be having new classes come up in different health topics. So a lot coming up in our Genius Biofeedback community, we warmly welcome you. Today is a day that we do a scan, so if you'd like to volunteer for a scan, go ahead and put your date of birth into the chat area. And also, this is a day where we answer your questions. So any questions, no question is too small, too big, um, too advanced, too much of a beginner. There's any question that you have, we are here to answer your question today. So go ahead and put it down into the chat box area and I'm more than happy to answer your question. So even if you sent me your question, help me out by putting it down in the chat area. That way it's going to be a lot easier for us to get to your question today. So a warm welcome to some of the newest members of our community. We really, really appreciate you and some of our longstanding members of our community who are coming back and maybe rejoining us. Vanessa, I really wanna welcome you. Thank you for being one of the newest members of our Genius Biofeedback community. And Lorene is here, warm welcome to you. Heather R, warm welcome and thanks for being here. If you'd like to volunteer and have a scan today, do let us know, it's always nice to have Dale joining us. Cam is here, jo thank you for joining us. Cam, Lisa, Lisa K is here, thank you for being here. Nancy G, thank you so much. Stella R, back, you're checking it out, Stella. You're gonna see if it really works for you. I hope you end up getting the genius for your use. It's really nice to have you here. Julie L, warm welcome. Joan R, using her system, checking it, checking everything out, joining us here today, I absolutely love it. So good to have you. I wanna warmly welcome any of your questions. So go ahead and ask your questions. If you want to volunteer, go ahead and do that down in the um, question area. I think it just says questions, so that's what you're looking for there. It's not the chat area, but the question area. So that is where you would be looking for it. Okay, so we're gonna have a beginner class on Thursday. It hasn't been posted quite yet, but it will be. So if you like that beginner class at four o'clock Pacific, seven o'clock Eastern, we're gonna try to add another beginner class for our European friends. So we'll be getting to that soon. We're gonna have more Spanish speaking language classes, just a lot, a lot of growth in our community, a lot of exciting things happening. So we're so, so happy to have you here. And um, let's go ahead and see if somebody wants to volunteer to get a scan today. And thank you again so much for being part of our Genius Biofeedback community. And we really greatly, greatly appreciate you so much. <clears throat> so Laura, we didn't get to work with you last time, so let's go ahead and work with you this time. And just go ahead and give your microphone a check, see if it's working and we don't want you to lose. I think we just lost internet access last time. So it was a very interesting case, so we welcome you back for that. We had some questions on the Facebook group about synergistics. So we can go ahead and talk about the synergistics function. Let me know, is the synergistics function something that you've ever used? Do you know what the synergistics is? Go ahead and put your answer in the chat. Have you ever used the synergistics? Do you know what that is? Let me know down in the chat area and we can talk about it. And there are other functions that you may want to know about. So let me know and we're gonna go ahead and put the genius up here in just a moment. You may have noticed some handouts in the handout section. I think we have a few. We have our herbal guide. You may wanna download that. We have our blank fillable form, which is great if you wanna record results. We also have our Genius Three Basic Processes. And if you're looking for a methodology to start with the Genius, then this is a great way to get started. So if you go ahead and look at the Three Basic Processes, you could choose one of the processes really for any case that you're doing although there are recommendations or suggestions for the type of case, and then you go through and you test these panels only during your case. Now, could you add in other things? Absolutely, but it gives you some structure to doing a case. A warm welcome to everyone joining us. You may wanna look in the handout section and go to geniusbiofeedback.com and see the events page, see we, that we have new events coming up and so many exciting things happening in our community. So. 
Let's go ahead to the questions. And Laura, we're gonna open up the microphone for you in just a moment as we bring the Genius up. I'm using the, the Genius on my iPad Pro. I think I said that finally right. It's an 11 inch iPad Pro. Our Apple devices are kind of preferred devices, but they're not the only devices. If you like an Android device or you have an Android device, some people are really, really feel that those are important to them, then just go ahead and use your Android device like a Samsung Galaxy Tab A, Tab E. Those are totally fine. I happen to be using it on iPad Pro, which is an 11 inch iPad Pro. You could easily use it on something like an iPad 8th generation is a perfectly lovely and inexpensive piece of equipment. You can get an iPad 32 gigabyte eighth generation for about $300, and they're often on sale for a little bit less. Then I'm broadcasting my Genius onto my screen that you see here with something called a reflector. And if you go to a funny website called Air Squirrels, like the animal, airsquirrels.com, and you look for the reflector number three, reflector three, then you can get this little piece of software. It's really great because it allows you to do Zoom sessions and so forth with people where you can be right on the meeting with them and showing them the genius. Also, if you like to use Zoom, then Zoom has a special plugin where you can plug in your iPad and you can um, get everything rolling from there. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk with Laura and we're gonna get her um, voice print, and then we're going to go for it. We're going to um, talk about a whole bunch of other things. So great, great group here today. Thank you so much. Please put your questions down in the question area. Not a technical support request. So if you have a personal technical support request, that doesn't go in our chat. What we want are questions that would benefit our entire community. If you have a, a technical support question, go to geniusbiofeedback.com and open the chat and send us a message there. You're certainly warmly welcome to do that. All right, so let's find Laura here and let's go ahead and open up the chat with her and find out how she's doing. Hey, Laura, how are you doing today? Great, how are you? Good, how are things going in your practice? Very great. Good, that's exciting. Okay, <laughs> well tell us again what you want to work on today. Okay, so I recently had vein surgery, and when I went back for my last scan, which was now um, two weeks ago, uh, or it'll be two weeks on Friday, they found that I had a blood clot in each leg. So I thought I'd like to figure out how to work on uh, the, vas the vessel, vas vascular, I'm not positive which way we would go, but um, I am on a blood thinner as well. You're on a blood thinner currently, okay. So what would be your goal? What would you want to experience? Well, I'd love to have the blood clots gone. Okay, well, that makes sense. You want them to go away. And how long has this been a lifetime issue or something that's developed in later in life? Later in life. Later in life, okay. And what kind of a, a what's your food plan? Sort of just give us a maybe a quick and dirty. Is it like keto or is it? low carb or is it plant-based what's your style um i pretty much do uh, meal replacement shakes um and a, a healthy fork and knife meal a day and i do i'm sorry what a fork and knife meal a one fork. regular meal a day balanced oh what 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 is in a fork and knife meal i'm not familiar with that it would be, uh, you know, a protein, uh, two vegetables, maybe a salad. And what's a protein? What are some of the typical proteins? Uh, fish, chicken, steak. Okay. And because you have blood clots, have you ever considered going completely plant-based? I haven't. Okay. That would be a really, really important thing to consider because that could be the whole shooting match for you right there. That would make a a really big difference because uh, cholesterol is only contained in animal foods and you would be eliminating that factor and it's very uh, likely that it's going to thin the blood and almost eliminate the clots com completely. And we do have a really good class on this called High Vibe Nutrition. So you may want to check out that class and um, on the website at geniusbiofeedback.com. I go through all the science of how plant-based really makes a difference. And it's because this is such a serious issue, it would be worth combining the genius and the and, and trying that plan for something like 30 to 90 days because I think it could make a profound difference. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and record your voice 
So I'm going to go ahead and cue you and have you record your voice, which is saying your name and then saying the vowels A, E, I, O, U. So I'll count you down and I'll start recording in three, two, one. I'm recording. My name is Laura. A E I O U. 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 Okay, that's -E perfect. Excellent. Okay, so Laura, I'm going to get rolling here. I will come back and check in with you in just a little bit. Cool. Okay. All right, perfect. Okay, so when we're looking at the voice print, the voice print is a significant part of the information that is interpreted. What we're looking at as information is patterns. We're reading different patterns. Everyone, if you if you spend time with someone, you get to know them, you probably uh, notice that they have certain patterns. And everyone has patterns. Some are, some are more predictable than others, but all can be sort of interpreted in some way. So really the voice print, the voice technology is listening to the voice several times and evaluating it and transforming it into frequency information. It's basically taking your voice and turning it into a frequency, in a, in a valuable frequency. And um, this technology is based on something called the Fourier Fast Formats, which was originally developed at um, MIT. And then it was transformed for our use in a quantum biofeedback application by Ryan Williams. So this is a very specific voice engine. If anybody used the Infinity before they used the Genius years ago, going back to 2012, that voice engine is not nearly as powerful as this particular voice engine. It's really great at capturing the energetic state of that person. And so when you hit that next button, you're taking that information that you've just gleaned and you're interpreting it as frequency information. So we're gonna go here, hit next, and this is an analyzing the voice formats. It's literally taking your you as a person and putting it in an evaluable frequency. In other words, something that we could compare to other frequencies in the program. Now, if you do not have a voice, okay, if you have a child that cannot communicate verbally, nonverbal, if you have an infant, if you have a dog, a cat, or somebody in the hospital, you can skip the voice and use the picture. Because of the way the webinar is set up, we don't have easy access to someone's picture. We usually don't utilize it. However, the picture has a lot of energetic information. It also tells the story about the person. So there is so much energetic information in a picture and that is being evaluated by the program and also interpreted. Equally, your first name, your last name together are quite unique. Every letter carries a frequency, your name carries a frequency and your name and your surname together also carry a frequency. That combined with your unique or your that your name, your first name, last name and your date of birth, even more unique frequency information about you. That is all taken into account, interpreted and fed into the genius algorithm. So when it's looking at the particular person and giving you information, all of that information, it's the secret sauce is how it evaluates and makes sense of that information. And that's what really the value of the genius is. It's so spot on many, many times in really looking at that particular person and understanding them from a frequency perspective. So the truth is the voice will get you a more laser focus at the person like a laser focused look or interpretation or understanding of the person. But just having the picture is still very valuable, the picture and the name. And I've done many, many sessions where I only had a name and a picture, name, date of birth and picture. And I still got very relevant information. It's just that with the voice, you're sort of able to laser focus it even more. Now the frequency sending of the genius, that aspect sending the frequencies, it really does not matter if you have the voice. You're, what the genius is able to focus on that person based on their picture, based on their date of birth. It is a scalar broadcast focused on their energy field in particular. 
How that happens is the proprietary information of quantum biofeedback technologies. Um, you could laser focus not so good energy on someone, but you could also laser focus divine and healing energy. And that is the only energy really possible with the genius. It is only possible to do good with the genius. So that is um, a really important thing to consider. But every time you play a frequency for someone, whether you've had their picture, whether you've had their voice, voice and picture, name, date of birth, you are sending that energy particularly to them every time you hit the play button that information is given to them in consciousness. Their field is actively being affected by those frequencies. They are being changed. They are being informed. There is new information coming into their field and changing them in some significant way. Um, how else can you change the energy? You could uh, meditate. You could do relaxation. You could do affirmations. You could do all types of self-development. You could also run the frequencies of the genius. They will all have a very positive impact on changing your field in some significant way. So that's the idea with the genius, how we get to um, where we're trying to get to with voice and picture. But it is rather flexible. And always, when we have that person's name and date of birth, we are sending the energy to that person. When we first get into the Genius Program, after we've recorded voice, voice and picture, maybe just picture, we get to this particular screen and we look at it up and down and we sort of take into account several different things. Now first, the ordering of the particular categories, they will switch. It's mind, biofield and body. So it may give you some sense of what the leading issue is all about. Maybe for her it's mental, some mental shift that she's trying to make. So that may give you a hint. I don't make too much of the order of categories of mind, biofield, and body, but I do look up and down for the global reds and blues that are showing up for the day. So what I see is brain anatomy, and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm working from my iPad Air as I, not my iPad Pro, as I mentioned. I really like this particular Pro. Um, it's only an 11 inch Pro. You can get much, much larger Pros, a 12 inch, and they look like a computer screen. Um, but this is easy for me to hold in my hand if I ever want to do that. And I also am able to put it on a stand. So I use a stand from a company called thoughtout.biz. And we're probably going to end up carrying these on the website. Let me know if you think that, that would be helpful to you. Let me know that. Um, we, we have these on a beautiful stand. And they almost look like they're a standalone device when you just have this um, you know, on your desk in your office, if somebody comes in, it almost looks like it's a it's a unique standalone device on its own. So you could put your iPad Air on there, or you could put your tablet. It's really helpful because it allows you to work in this vertical vertical position. Now, something we've not done with the Genius is been, being able to use it in the landscape mode, which would be that it would turn on the side. Now, if that's something you're interested in, definitely send a message to the developer rw at insighthealthapps.com rw at insighthealthapps.com. If you need that, you know, email, let me, let me know. I have a lot going on here. Okay. <laughs> All right. So when I get into the, the person's information, I'm looking brain anatomy. Okay. I'm going to bring that down into the tray. I'm going to bring the emotional aspect into the tray and I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking oh, something got in there that shouldn't have, right. That got in there. Okay. So What's going on? This might be something about the case. Then I see meridians, nausea, chakra. I'm going to look at these all in a little bit. I'm sort of considering them, what they might mean. I see hormones, today's stress, organs. I'm just going to include all those amino acids and spinal energy. So the first thing I notice is there, there is a lot going on. So I'm just taking that. There's a lot that maybe she's working on energetically, right? She's working maybe to try to heal herself in some way. So I'm just going to take all of that into account. Then I'm going to kind of go through my processes. So I'm going to look at the aura. What does the aura tell me? So I want to kind of do a general consistent evaluation each time so that I have an organized way of looking at the particular person. So this will help you to compare and contrast what you see in different people that you're working on. Now, you never need to really interpret it per se. Like you don't need to do a full like medical evaluation. Some of the things that you hear from me, I'm a naturopathic doctor. I went to four years of medical college to learn herbs, homeopathy, how to 
interpret labs and things like that. So I have that benefit. We teach that to you in our natural health mastery courses. You can learn all about it. Many of you have gone through those courses and got a great benefit to then inform and help your biofeedback practice. But when you're beginning, you can just work on the reds and blues. As we go in here, we see a crisscross. So the person's at a crossroads. There's something they're trying to figure out. That cross is usually up and down and across. There's a perpendicular intersection there. They're trying to figure something out. They're trying to determine something. They're literally at a crossroads. Also, the, there's a pink energy coming through in a which is um, on the horizontal and it's above the head. So there may be something that, again, a lot of cerebral work going on, a lot of thought process. And there's a big opening in the crown chakra. So she's really using her intuition and her connection to the divine to really inform maybe her sessions or what she's doing for herself. Then we've got a straight line up and down on the vertical plane, which is more of a muddy earth color. And it looks to me like it's really working with the first chakra, like survival. And that could have to do with the clot. So she's pulling down a lot of um, information, trying to get inspiration to work on this, probably this particular clotting issue. Then there's a general muddiness to the aura. There's a, a, a green sort of muddiness. This means that any digestive cleanse is going to really, really help. It is spring. It is time for cleansing the body naturally. You know, usually in the, historically, the springtime, right before everything bursts, into growth. This is the time when there really is not a lot of food left, right? It's at the very, very end of supplies of what we had from the harvest in the fall. And so it's a time when naturally and normally human beings were eating very, very little right before everything comes into bloom. It's a very natural time for fasting, cleansing, juice cleanse. So this would be a good time for a detox. What I'm seeing is congestion in the digestive system communicated by a green, almost mustard color. So we'd want to see that clear up and we expect that some of this entire thing is related to digestive issues. Now we go into the three basic processes. So we're going to, and I'm going to go through them quickly. All you need to do as a new practitioner is reds and blues, reds and blues, reds and blues. Let the genius figure out the rest. If you use your mastery guide, you look up the information in the mastery guide, try to grab mine here. You look up the information in the mastery guide, you can see um, some really great things about digestion. Then you can look them up, or today's stress, you can look them up also on the success cards. So in the success cards, you can see everything about today's stress right here. Go down the list, interpret it if you want to know more. You don't have to be a doctor. You can just go to the reference guides. That's why we've written them for you and given you those um, to use when you're doing your sessions. Really, really easy. So we're gonna to go to today's stress and we're gonna tap on the line for today's stress. Remember, I'm gonna go a little bit quickly here and because we wanna to get to your questions as well. So today's stress, I'm gonna tap on the line. It says something in her environment, something to do with the cardiovascular system. Now, quick tip, I do tend to look at all the information that might be, that darn spotlight, that might be um, above 600. So infection, blood sugar, cardiovascular. There could also be a connection between blood sugar and cardiovascular. That could be interesting. If you take my natural health mastery course on cardiovascular and blood sugar diabetes, you will be blown away to find out there's something called intramyocellular fat. Intramyocellular um, fat, it, fatty acids get into the cell and there also could be interpreted as skinny fat. If you eat a diet with dairy or animal products, you're eating too much fat. And believe it or not, it's the fat that's causing the dysregulation of your blood sugar, not sugar per se. Not to say it's great to have um, all this sugar. That's not what I'm saying. Get rid of refined sugar. But beyond that, someone who doesn't eat a lot of refined sugar, if they're eating chicken and fish, which has a very high amount of, surprisingly, high amount of fat. We're not, we don't, we're not taught that because there's industry that wants us to think that it's not high in fat. And that's not, that's not true. It has a, just as much cholesterol as red meat. And so it's very rich in fat. And that fact gets inside the cell and it causes a dysregulation of the mechanism for properly regulating blood sugar. So you can also read more about this in the books of Neil Barnard, 
who wrote extensively about healing diabetes with a plant-based diet, or you can go to my High Vibe Nutrition, or you can also go to the Natural Health Mastery course on the website about cardiovascular and diabetes, if you wanna know more. So we do see that connection there. We go down to the blues. Well, okay, so this gives us a pattern of depletion. So there, so she wants to continue to nourish. She might even wanna look into the chuanaprash, some type of adaptogen, holy basil, um, rhodiola, B vitamins. You've got a lot of depletion going on. In fact, the very first depletion that we see is the adrenals and connective tissue fungus. Remember, fungus is gonna come up when our digestion is not, doesn't have good combustion. We're not really getting 100% burning up and digestion of our food. So the fungus comes in as the cleanup crew to take care of things. Some type of bacteria, we often have some type of gut bug going on, especially if we consume meat or dairy. That is how the gut bug comes into our body, um, especially through the food supply. And there's many, many more pathogens in meat and dairy. So liver, the stress on the liver and emotional. We saw that stress on the liver in the aura. So we actually saw that in the aura. Now let's go back here and we're gonna go down the list. We're gonna go to organs and we're gonna see how do these things all kind of interrelate. So heart relates to cardiovascular. Lungs is interesting. Lungs is paired with large intestine in Chinese medicine. And um, you know, lungs also disperses the qi, disperses the energy throughout the body. So if we're not breathing completely or getting good um, vigorous exercise, then that could be affecting the whole en you know, energy overall. Although she didn't com complain or say she had la she lacked energy. And then something to do with the eyes. Remember, the eyes are related to the liver in Chinese medicine. So the liver being needing a detox could be affecting the eyes in some way. Maybe she's having a little bit of fuzzy vision, not seeing as clear as usual, something like that. Also, circulation, if we're not getting proper perfusion, that could affect the eyes or the kidneys. So that's another thing. So then we're gonna go to glands. So we're gonna include the hypothalamus, the pancreas, the thymus, the adrenal. So we see the echoing of the adrenal frequency, right? It doesn't really matter, oh, it was blue in one, it's red in this. Don't just sort of you know, split hairs over that. It shows adrenal stress overall. That's the main um, information we wanna take from that and also, the thymus, some immune stress, hypothalamus, that becomes dysregulated over time. Um, you know, in, in you know, I'd say 40 and over, that it's up in the brain and starts to become dysregulated. It helps us to regulate hormones and adrenals and thyroid. And so that can become dysregulated in some way. So we want to harmonize it. Pancreas could be enzymes or blood sugar. We might be thinking more blood sugar because we just saw that. Then we go to digestion, which is gonna also help us to understand digestion. Large intestine, remember we said that was paired with the lungs. So actually if your large intestine is congested, it literally affects your lungs. So those two are, are matched up together. Then pancreas and liver. So we're kind of seeing these signs over and over and over again, pancreas, liver. What did I start out by saying from the aura? We need a good digestive cleanse, some type of a 21 day detox, we have that on the website. We also have the um, high vibe nutrition. You could do a juice cleanse, lots and lots of different options here. Okay, so since we did that, we just have one more, which is flower essences. We just wanna grab the reds and the blues. We're gonna do that with our bulk drag and drop feature at the bottom. We're gonna just gonna drop quickly all the reds and the blues. And we've got a good amount of reds and blues in there. Now we're gonna go to our custom libraries where we want to look at things like heart, vessel, um, maybe some things having to do with the blood. What you want to write down on a piece of paper is your best understanding of what the person is going through. Even if you're not a medical professional, just go to Google. What does it mean to have blood clots? What causes blood clots? What systems in the body break down? So something about you know, clotting in general, maybe clotting factors, something to have to do with the blood, something to have to do with the vessels themselves, the circulation, um, something that, you know, so you wanna write down as many things and you could find libraries that are related to that. And all you need to do is direct the energy. You're just a director of energy. You can never do anything to harm or hurt the person. You just wanna get as close as you can in directing the energy. So let's go ahead and look at the Vessel Harmonizing Program, which is a wonderful way to get into the actual each one of the vessels. Let's just look at major arteries. And remember, um, 
all of these are just where there is not a proper flow of energy. It doesn't mean anything in particular, good or bad. It's just a place that we want to send divine, universal consciousness, positive energy in order to bring out more what we call coherence. If you look at heart math, the Heart Math Institute, they talk about coherence as the optimal functioning of physiology. So we want to get to a place where we're restoring the optimal functioning of physiology. So let's go ahead and include the reds. Let's go ahead and include the blues. This, if we restore flow, then that is going to ultimately help with the blood clots, right? So we can also, there's a couple of other things we can look at. We have a CBC panel, which is an energetic disturbance about the blood itself. So it tells us we could use some energy for the red blood cells. The neutrophils have to do with fighting bacteria, and we did see bacteria in a previous um, panel in today's stress. And eosinophils is allergies, things that we were allergic to. And that matches up with where we saw the environmental issue in today's stress. That was the first thing that we saw in today's stress. We can also look at microcirculation. We have a, a library for the microcirculation of the body. Let's go ahead and look at that one. And vasomotion at its optimal function. So something about the opening and closing of the vessels, we're not having the best vasomotion, so we're having some impaired circulation or perfusion. And stimulate, well, we can do this, stimulate normal blood circulation. The next thing that we can do is working with the heart. Let's look at the heart disturbance and see if there's anything there. Heart um, assessment, heart health one assessment. And here's some interesting information that could be helpful using coenzyme Q10, using vitamin E, using HDL, um, working on HDL cholesterol, niacin. Now we don't have to take these supplements, we just wanna put them into um, the tray. All right, so we just want to improve the flow. We want to improve the flow. Um, let's look also look at the spleen meridian because the spleen meridian is related to um, blood flow in the body, um, proper um, red blood cell circulation and so forth. So let's just go ahead and look at the meridians. Where is the spleen meridian? Okay, it's not particularly active. So let's just include the lung meridian which we saw the lung, and let's include the stomach meridian. So it tells us also that probably working on the digestive system could be very, very helpful. Let's look at a few other things, which is the systems inquiry, and then we're gonna to get to some of your questions. So I'm, I'm gonna to get to your questions. Let's just look at systems inquiry, which kind of does an overall check of the different systems. And let's go down here. It tells us that definitely the cardiovascular system and hormones. Now that's interesting because in menopause, perimenopause to menopause, with more estrogen dominance and less progesterone, that is related to clotting for sure. So we, you know, that's a good reason for women to not take birth control pills. So one of the ways to work on this is to bring up the amount of progesterone. You could do it with progesterone cream or evening primrose oil or, um, EPO, evening primrose oil, uh, chase tree berry, Vitex, things like that. So hormonal root cause, cardiovascular root cause, and there is the liver root cause, also a structural root cause. So even just working on posture, structure, something of that may be very helpful. Now we also have uh, the core source issue, a pet allergy. Do you have any pets? Epstein-Barr, chronic fungal infection, chemical exposure. I wonder if there's some chemical off-gassing of a carpet or something that could be of, of, um, of issue there. Heavy metal exposure of some kind, okay. Let's go ahead and let's go one more time here. It gives us thyroid kidneys and a little bit of adrenals. Okay, so we have a lot of information. We're gonna get to your questions in just a moment. Um, we have one more that I wanna look at, which is, it's called the body repair codes, body repair codes. For those of you who are in the library discount club, you've gotten very first introduction to this library, the body repair codes. We're gonna look at it in a moment. It's not even available on the website just yet. We've done a brand new curated library called the body repair codes for those. If you want to go to the website, geniusbiofeedback.com and become a member of our library discount club, 
you can instantly get this particular library. We are going to post it to the website shortly for regular sale, which will be more than just the cost of membership. With the cost of membership, you get 20% off any libraries anytime and even a $97 coupon every single month. And you get a special curated library and a hangout about how to use that library. So let's just go ahead and take a look at it for a moment. It's in the spirit of what the up, up and coming med beds where we can actually repair everything in the body instantaneously. It's called the body repair codes, total body regeneration. Let's just see what's coming up for her. Wow, lots of things are resonating for her. The fascia of the body is healed and regenerated, creating ease of movement and clearing all pain in the body. You know, that's so interesting because if you look at the, uh, the, um, if you look at the practices such as rolfing, rolfing is an intense deep body work that releases any fascial adhesions. And recently in the business membership club, we talked about um, structure informs function. Her whole issue, even with clotting, could be related to some injury or some fascial adhesion. And even just by running the frequency to release the fascia, it could be very powerful. It also tells us that this is a very powerful frequency for her. And the reason that we know that is because of the 777. That is the highest we can go in the entire scale of the genius. And so what it signifies to us is it's a very significant um, frequency for her. I would even gather that up into the quick zap and run it separately on its own with a few other things, which I'll talk about in a moment. Cellular residue affecting any part of the body is now resolving and clearing all systems are now online and optimized. Vessels are cleared of all plaque. Any damage to the vessel walls is now repaired. So let's take these three, because we want to maybe just maximize these. So, I mean, it tells us right there what part of the issue is, that the vessels have some buildup. And this is another reason why I would highly, highly recommend you go all plant-based for 90 days and experience. This could be absolutely life-changing. And if you need more information, you check out the High Vibe Nutrition where I go through all the science and give you recipes and things that you can use to go plant-based. It doesn't have to be for a lifetime, but wow, if it could make that profound of a change, you may want to check it out. Let's go down to the bottom here and it tells us the right knee now completely healed and regenerated, car cartilage now renewed. And again, something as simple as a right knee issue can affect the you know, compensation of the entire body. And that compensation could have led to some tightness, adhesions, fascial issues. The lungs completely regenerated and vitalized. Skin health, any lesions are now completely healing. Muscles now relaxed and released all trigger points. Gums are strengthening and regenerating where needed for powerful support of teeth and the health of the mouth. The DNA is completely healed and expressing perfect health. I am now experiencing complete healing of mind and spirit. What's interesting about this particular library is it works in so many different directions and so many different topics. So it highlights the topics that are of issue, but it also shows you how interrelated things are. Like the vessel clotting issue, maybe it's related to a structural issue. Um, maybe the knee is a part of the whole thing that we never would have been able to figure out. So it's very, very interesting. Let's just go up the rest of it now. For those of you new, I often consider everything up to 200 to be pretty significant. So the thyroid heals and now orchestrates optimal metabolic activity. So we saw the thyroid in, I think, glands or in a, maybe the system inquiry. pH regulating mechanisms are now restored. Optimal alkaline balance is easily achieved. Gallstones now dissolve and clear. Those might be silent gallstones. Thyroid hormone is easily converted from T4 to T3 throughout the body. That could be happening if we have a gut infection, it's blocking the conversion. Small intestine complete and optimized assimilation of all food turned to chi for the best health ever. Because we saw that fungus, it means it's not happening. Now I'm not gonna do any more. What you really wanna do in your sessions is an optimal amount of 50 to 100 frequencies down in the main whole tray, not more than that. There's no reason we need to sit around for an entire afternoon and put 300 or 500 frequencies down in the main whole tray. It's just not, it's not helpful for the person. It can even drain the person potentially. And we don't need that much information. We just need the right frequencies. We don't need all the frequencies. We just need the best frequencies for that person at that time. And the way to achieve that is to go down to progressive insights, or sorry, down to the main hold tray. And we're gonna, my spotlight is being very 
um, not cooperative, but if I can just circle around here, we want to tap on this play button at the bottom right and it takes us to a new screen called Progressive Insights, the most exciting screen in the genius. This is definitely worth the price of entry. It is super important. It's super unique. You won't find this really in too many other systems like this where what we're going to do is we're going to take those 96 or 97 items. We're going to say which ones are the very most important. We're going to focus our energy on the most important ones, but also give us a new level of understanding about the case. So when I hit that begin analysis button, what is the most important? What is the most important thing that I need to know at this time? Wow, the fungus. Something about that fungal infection is significant. Then the thyroid. Stimulate normal blood circulation. That's for the clotting. Something about the abdominal aorta, something in the tummy endothelial progenitor cell that is um, has to do with the health of the blood cells themselves the health of the blood that's interesting mitral valve prolapse that could just be an energetic issue don't take it as a diagnosis thymus vasomotion is at its optimal function that would help to release any clotting so you see how exciting that is let's go ahead and hit the play button here let's just read for a moment about chicory from the floral acupuncture book floral acupuncture book let's go ahead and read about chicory <clears throat> we read about chicory is um, used when we're moving from feeling like we can't do anything about the situation to actually being very empowered about a situation. So um, chicory is really realizing that you do have the power to make that change. It's feeling it's feeling a frustration of, oh my gosh, I'm never going to figure this out. I'm never going to move beyond it to I've got it. I know that I am in control, that I can make the difference, and that's the whole energy behind the genius. So really interesting. So we're gonna run that for one minute, and then we're gonna check the rectification percentage. By the way, if you don't run the rectification percentage for the full one minute, um, then you will not see the rectification. So if you don't run it for the full 15 minutes or whatever the particular timing is, you won't see that rectification percentage. So down at the bottom, we've got 29% rectification. The rectification is just a hint at how much that person has assimilated that particular amount of information. This is en encoded information, allowing the person to make a profound shift in their energy field in order to remind their body, which is infinitely wise, how to heal this particular thing. They're taking it in, they're drinking in the information. How much did they get it? You could almost think of it as how much did they learn that particular song or pick up the particular task, um, master it. So they mastered at 29%. Now that can be kind of significant. That is pretty good in our scale because we're only looking for 40% or more. With that said, you could go on to something else. You could do a rescan from here. You just want a sense of how much progress they made. 40% is plenty, 29% is great. Maybe you'd want to stop and linger if it was 7%, 8%, 18%. It's a judgment call. It can even be your intuition. For me right now, I want to do a rescan because I want to know what's a layer deeper. What is a layer deeper that she's experiencing now? What information do I get? Century, which is literally connecting with the heart, listening to the heart as the cognitive organ instead of the brain, which is so funny for this case. And that switch for her really moving more, which she sounds like she's very heart connected, but moving more into her heart, that could even resolve the clotting issue. Wouldn't that be interesting? That mental shift could then resolve the physical. Adrenal, the iliac artery, which is around the stomach, emotional, abdominal aorta came up again, so it's really needing to be cleared. Oak is a flower essence, lung meridian, vessels are cleared, so that vessel clearing came up again. Large intestine related to the lungs. It tells us clearing the large intestine, digestive cleanse, and also breathing exercises, working on the lungs, strengthening the lungs are important. DNA now completely healed and expressing perfect health. Small intestine, again, digestion. So a lot of this hinges on the digestive system. We're gonna do another minute. Now we're gonna to get to some of your questions. In a moment, we're gonna to go to Laura, find out how this information is landing with her. So let's go to some of your questions and let's talk about your questions. Barbara W says, why does my reproductive system come up and I don't have it? I had a hysterectomy. Well, you still have a lot of other things going on. You still have your pituitary, your adrenals. All of these things may still be sending a lot of signals. Your body can produce, can, um, produce estrogen from the adrenals. So something going on in the greater reproductive system not having to do, and I don't know, did you have a full 100% radical hysterectomy? Do you still have your ovaries? Do you still have one of your ovaries? 
but again, your adrenals, so you still have things related to your reproductive system, even if it's not the reproductive system itself. You know, usually it's not that the genius is wrong per se, it's often that we haven't interpreted it as well as we could interpret it. So it's a good question. Um, okay, so somebody asks, I have a question I'm not sure if you can answer. So we went to 33%, that's a great rectification. Let's do another rescan here. I have a question, but I'm not sure if you can answer. I'm on hormonal birth control. Is it safe to use the hormonal panel? Um, so if she says, I'm a little concerned about fertility, maybe not wanting to be that fertile, be, but be cautious because the hormonal panel will not do any damage, but it will certainly optimize everything. And so it's going to optimize. You're going to have maybe the best hormonal health ever. And if you have the best hormonal health, you may, may have more increased fertility. So in that case, usually I would say, don't worry. You can use any panel at any time. In this case, I would say, well, use it with caution. You know, we had so many students um, that were in their late 20s and 30s at the time that I was in naturopathic college or maybe mid 20s, late 20s, et cetera. And so many of them came in unhealthy and they learned to eat properly and take certain you know, nourishing herbs. And so many of those gals got pregnant while we were in naturopathic school because their fertility went up significantly as their health and their vitality began to increase. Good morning. I was wondering if you could spend a little bit of time when you when to use the functional zones. Lorraine, thanks for the question. Yes, we can do that actually right now. Okay, Ellen, warm welcome to you. Thank you, the one joining us from Belgium. Thank you so much for being here. All right. Um, when interpreting the aura, you say that the energy is coming in from the left and exiting on the right. So is that the person's left facing us or looking at the left, the person? I tell you what, that is the eternal question um, for our genius community is, what's going on with the aura? Is it left? Is it right? Is it reverse? Oh my God, which one is it? I would say, number one, don't stress too much about it. But that person, when you see that picture in the aura, which we often don't see on the um, class, that person is facing you. So it's a mirror image. So if you're looking on the left side of the screen, that is their right side. If you're looking on the right side of the screen, that is their left side. We'll go look at that in a moment. So hopefully that makes sense. And uh, Nancy, I hope that helps. Now, isn't it interesting for her that the fascia went to the very top of the list here for her? The fascia of the body is healed and regenerated. So that could be a very significant part of the entire case. When you put all the items together related to a particular case, they're testing them against each other. Therefore, the most important information about the case is going to be communicated to you right at the top, which is super, super exciting. All right, I have another question. Is it possible to add a panel with family members and harmonize the names for better relationships? Yes, we do. Check out on the website, we have a great relationship happiness series. So you may wanna check that out, the relationship. It's a little bit different from Bliss of Union, which is more for couples, but um, relationship happiness is for all types of relationships. You can check it out there. But yes, you could do a couple of different things. You could put all the names as the client. So Jim and Mary and Joe and Sue as the client. And then what's the date? I mean, it could be the date when everybody came together or it could be the youngest persons because that'd be earliest that everybody came to know each other, came into each other's consciousness. And you could definitely create a panel. Yes, to improve the relationship, create a library just for your family members. There's nothing wrong with that. So she instantly went to rectification. What I wanna do now is I wanna take that particular fascia and what I'm gonna do for the functional zones is gonna tap just on the left side here. This is where the functional zones are associated with this left check mark, otherwise we don't use the left check mark. So I'm gonna check it right here and then I'm gonna tap on functional zones. It's gonna give me some more information about why the fascia might be a particular issue. Okay, while that is interpreting, when using the capsule, do you have to be in the room to receive it? Yes, the capsule is an in-person thing. It doesn't have the same scalar broadcasting that the genus does. So that's really important to keep in mind. How do you set the frequency tabs? Adrian, I need a little bit more information about what you mean by frequency tabs. Not sure. I think maybe you mean the frequency shape and form, right? What time is the Thursday class? It's always going to be 4 o'clock Pacific, 7 o'clock Eastern. We're going to post it at geniusbiofeedback.com on the events page, so stay tuned for that. So what it tells us is that the fascial issue is due to biochemical, so this could be a magnesium deficiency. 
It also tells us that the fascia issue is something to do with the immune system. Um, that's really interesting to kind of see how those systems all fit together. Let's go ahead and look at the biochemical zone, and when we, when we tap on it, we're going to get an additional hint about the biochemical issue. Going down the list here, um, synergistics helps with figuring out connections. Yes, it does. Uh, pH acid stress evaluation, fatty acid stress evaluation, very interesting. So what we know now about the biochemical aspect of the fascial tightness is that some better essential fatty acids, for example, maybe one um, tablespoon of ground flaxseed every day, and also working on the pH, taking some alfalfa capsules or some green juices. So that also tells us that again, change, switching up the diet, dietary cleanse and becoming more alkaline, that could be something potentially that helps with the clotting, or it definitely seems to help with the structure of the body, the fascia. One thing is related to the next thing is related to the next thing. As we get rid of the fascial adhesions, it may in fact help the whole blood circulation overall, which is interesting. Everything is so interrelated and the genus teaches us, it's a living laboratory that teaches us about those connections. When you show the aura area, yours seems to be across the page, mine seems to emanate from the center of the body. This is an ongoing issue between Android and Apple. So let me know if you have an Apple device and that might be the issue. Let's uh, pop in and talk with uh, Laura and see how she's doing. How has this information been landing with her? In fact, let's go back to the aura and go ahead and get a revised aura. So based on all of the um, frequencies that we've been running, Let's see how the frequencies have impacted the aura. And let's go and talk with her for a moment, see how this information is landing with her. Okay, Laura, what do you think? I'm absolutely fascinated. This is just blowing my mind away. <laughs> what are some of the, are there a few pieces of information that have sort of resonated? Yeah, the 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 whole cat, the um, you know plant based. I I have toyed with a little bit with the plant based, but I think I'm going to look into that program that you you just talked about. And then I also, while you were doing some scanning, I was looking for the body repair codes on the website, and I don't see them yet, so they're not yet available for everyone to buy. Uh, you're you're a member of your business membership member, right? Because it's for the library. Yes. yes, we're going to have them. Yes, I'm going to post them soon for the whole kit and caboodle for the whole community. And sounds like that would <laughs> those really resonated for you. So that would be a good one. They really did. Yeah, absolutely. OK, well, do you have your um, you know, if you want to send me a message by email, send me. Um, yes, I have a quanta capsule and just send me a reminder. And after this, I could send the frequencies to your quanta capsule if you'd like. I do. I do have a contact capsule, and I definitely want to to have these to to work with. Okay. Yeah. Just send me. Just shoot me a message that says, "Hey, just a reminder. Send these to my quantum mm -hmm. capsule. I'll look at it right after the class, and we'll make it happen." Perfect. All right. Thank you for volunteering for class today. I have a few more things that I'm going to say um, after we're we're finished here. Okay. Okay. Well, I just meant after I I mute her, but I wanted to say a few things now. Um, so the first thing you might see when you say, oh my goodness, this is like a gray aura, like what's going on? Do not be alarmed. This is like a, num a wonderful reset. And there is some purple moving into the aura. It looks a little purple gray. So there is some opening of the third eye. There's some opening of the heart. It's almost like when the clouds are just about to move out and the sun's ready to come in. So it's really almost like a reset. It's not bad at all. And what we would want to do with that particular aura is run some solfeggios and some sacred geometry into the field, really flood the field. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix them up with that particular fascia. Oh, thanks. <laughs> with that particular fat, I meant to email, but okay. Um, with that particular fascia issue is to combine them. I'm going to show you that in just a moment. So what we want to do is um, go ahead and talk about the aura in particular. So with the aura, what we're doing here, now pay it close attention even if you're doing something else. So the person is facing us. So just make everything the opposite. This is our right side, but it's the client's left side. This is our left side, but it's the client's right side. Okay, now I finally got it right because I know I've said it backwards on a few videos and so forth that people are confused about. So what we want to do is we want to notate often the, the energetic information comes in this side and leaves through the right side. We can't really see it with this particular case, 
but sometimes we're seeing new information flood in from that other side and then go out the other side. So sometimes we see it, sometimes we don't. Now, to end this particular case, we would want to do a couple of different things. First of all, we collected a very significant frequency up in the Quicks app because we want to work on that in particular. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the solfeggios and we're going to potentiate that energy with the energy of the solfeggios. We're going to not worry about whether they're red or blue today. We just want to use all of them because their music is medicine, frequency is medicine. They're really, really powerful. So we're going to take these and we're going to use our bulk items drag, yellow, and then green, and then blue. We're going to put them all up there. And then we're going to run those along with the fascia, because that's a, like a linchpin, a really important issue, for maybe um, a minute while we answer some other questions. Let's see where the rectification goes. A few rounds of maybe a minute. And um, then let's answer some more questions. And then we'll go back, uh, we'll go back and look at the aura and see how it shifted and changed. Okay. Now, all right, my question is how do you set up the frequency, shape, and form? Okay, very cool. Will this be posted to you, YouTube? Definitely. Okay, the stand would be very helpful. Carry it on the website. Thank you, Stella. Thank you, Darcy. Where did you buy the stand? You can go to a website. I'll just put it down in the, in the question area. It's called thoughtout.biz, thoughtout.biz, and that is a good idea that we do carry these we can do that on the website. Okay, there we go. Thoughtout.biz, a great, great, really, you'll, you'll never need another stand. Okay, I have two thought out stands. I love them. Carrying them makes it easier for new practitioners. Thank you, Rosemary. That's a great suggestion. Hi, Ariel. I'll be working with a mom who wants to try Genius for her autistic sons. We are working on a course, which I think you're going to love, which is going to be autistic, autism, nonverbal, children there's been such a need for this how to work with a genius new frequencies new ideas new processes it's going to be a four-part class i'm going to be posting it soon so hold on to your hat that's going to be really really um groundbreaking and very very important we have a lot of parents with children with autism asperger's nonverbal, behavioral issues developmental issues and we really want to show you how to work with the genius on those particular issues can you sell, so Susan is always on point, Susan B, can you check for thrombocytes, platelets, cell fragments? That would be very important. We're gonna, I think we're gonna add that to the CBC. It should have been on that library and then we'll update it. What was the type of fat that gets into the cell that we should evaluate? It's called intramyocellular fat, intramyocellular fat. Okay, so do you know what type of vein surgery? Was it laser? giving some plant-based food gurus. Thank you. Um, thanks so much, Karen. Yeah, Dr. Sebi or Marcus Rosencrantz, all those great ones, really appreciate it. And Dr. Neil Barnard, Dr. John McDougall, those are all also really wonderful. Is there a video base for the food testing panel? Um, yes, it's in our practitioner level one course. So you may wanna look into that. We don't have a separate one, but we could definitely come up with something. All right, and Laura says she was actually hypothyroid. So that was something that was relevant for her. What can I do for my thyroid? If the thyroid gets removed, you wanna work on everything else. The thyroid works on a triangular relationship between ovaries and adrenals, so you wanna work on everything else, but you can work on the energy of the thyroid. What is thyroid replacement therapy? It's giving thyroid hormone to replace the thyroid. Why not work on thyroid hormone with a genius? That would be a very good thing to do. Okay, the energy from the uterus and ovaries is still present. Susan is bringing up a very good point. So the energy, the resonance of those things is still there. I have to think about that, but that, that seems right. What does Y-L-E-O mean? Young living essential oils. Young living essential oils. Does microphone quality matter? Not really, not in my experience. Just any decent microphone will get you the results that you want. It's, it's a very forgiving program. Okay. Okay, Catherine asked a very interesting question. Let's go. We have a library called Fitness Assessment. Okay, so if we look at it, let's see, might say the same thing. Lymphatic movement needed. Um, so see, she probably she probably doesn't smoke. Um, and it does say alcohol consumption. Oh, come on now. Um, 
So first of all, this could have been secondhand smoke. It could have been smoke that she was um, exposed to maybe in a job or in early life or as a child. But look at this. So alcohol consumption affecting health. She probably does not drink very much, but this can be related to gut health. So if there's candida fungus, then there's a byproduct called acid aldehyde. So as strange as it may seem, that alcohol that you're seeing there may be coming from a gut impairment. So try a cleanse, get on a good probiotic, and you may see that clear, clear it up. <clears throat> Samsung Android. Yeah, the problem is with the difference between the two auras on the Android versus the Apple version. So it's just a different in the, um, in the type of uh, platform that you're using. Basically, the aura function is pretty much the same. Um, that's something that if you send me the aura, maybe I can help you a little bit to interpret it, but it just, it, it works the same, but just looks a little bit different on both platforms. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the frequency, shape, and form to kind of round things up for the day, and then I want to look at that aura again. So the first thing I want to say about frequency, shape, and form is don't worry about it too much. Let me just make some recommendations for you, Adrian, and everyone else. Go ahead and put your wave intensity on just default. There's no reason you need to have it higher than that. Wave shape, you want it on sonic signatures wave, and you want the wave, the delivery of the energetic tones on sonic signatures. That's going to give you, in my opinion, the best effect. It's going to play those beautiful wind chimes and the overlay frequencies. And then in order to um, not overly adapt or get used to one particular waveform, just use alternating. Make sure you've downloaded the enhanced layering technology, which gives you a binaural beat effect when you're listening through headphones. There's not too much to write home about really on the frequency, shape, and form, although you do have a full video about it in your learning portal in the mastery guide video. So go watch that video. I even show the different waveforms and talk about what they do and even show visuals of them. So definitely go watch that video in the mastery training that you um, received with your package. That'll be really helpful. Now let's go back and let's just look at the aura one more time. Let's see if the solfeggios made any dent. We only did for one minute, but let's go ahead and see that. So we're going to be back next week at the same time. We also have a class on Thursday that's about to be posted. It's a beginner class. Then we have many more classes. We're actually going to have a summit at the end of, um, I think it's the third week in April. Oh my goodness, look at this. Look at the difference a minute makes. We always think things have to take a long time. It's going to take forever. Oh my gosh, I better, you know, get ready. But look at that. In one minute of running the fascia, so the solfeggio is kind of potentiating the fascia, kind of giving energy to that fascia, helping to heal it in some way. And then the solfeggio is running into the field itself. A beautiful ending aura with bright light, a new awareness for physical healing. The, we, the reason we know that is because this is red. This is very much a first chakra. We can't even see the spotlight here. A new awareness of chakra one, first chakra healing. So she's getting some new awareness about how to work with that blood clotting issue and beautiful yellow. So there's a lot of um, new empowerment. This is third chakra issues and the digestive system is clearing up. We don't see that muddy um, thing that we did before. I think I just did take a picture, but let's go ahead and let's look at our photos here. Here is number one. This is where we started. Number two, the reset and number three. Wow. What a great case. Thank you so much, Laura. I really appreciate you volunteering today and really fun stuff that we got to do together. So go to geniusbiofeedback.com. We have a new special for the month of March. So check out our new specials. If you're new to the Genius and you're ready to get your package, we have really cool specials for the month of March. Go ahead and you can see them all, including our starter, our upgraded, our elite, and even our master frequency elite program. We have lots of great programs coming up in March, as well as a new exciting summit coming up in the month of April. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, everyone, for your awesome questions. Keep them coming. Now, if you have any questions that remain unanswered, you need help with something, you want to decide which package to get. You need to talk about installments, anything that you would like to talk about. For the next hour, I'll be on the chat. What is it that you need? How can I help you? Go to geniusbiofeedback.com and open the chat at the bottom right. It's the little chat bubbles. Open that up 
and I'll be ready and waiting to talk with you and answer your questions. Geniusbiofeedback.com, just open the chat at the bottom right. Have a beautiful week, everyone. We're gonna post this to the YouTube channel under my name, Ariel Policano. Just search Ariel Policano on YouTube. You'll see all of my videos, um, well over like 300 videos about the genius. Have a great day and a great week, everyone. Take care now, be well. Bye-bye for now.